हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एफ क्लासेस एंड दिस इज डॉक्टर हेमंत कुमार सिंह एक्चुअली आई गॉट अ रिक्वेस्ट फॉर डूइंग अ वीडियो ऑन द बेसिक रेस्टोरेंट टूल्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द सेम एंड आई विल बी गोइंग टू डू दिस वीडियो इन थ्री डिफरेंट सेक्शंस इन सेक्शन वन आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द क्रॉकरीज दैट इज द बोन चाइना थिंग इन सेकेंड सेक्शन आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द स्टील वेयर दैट इज द कटलरी फ्लैट वेयर इन द हॉलो वेयर एंड इन दर्ड सेक्शन the glassware so let's start and explore some of the basic restaurant tools before moving on to the crockery section we should also know that there are certain other equipments and tools also in the restaurant apart from uh, say crockery cutlery flatware hollowware and the glassware and all those tools and equipments are categorized under three different heads one is the fixtures another is linen and another is furniture so if you talk about the examples of fixtures we have the you know different curtain palmets or the paintings in the restaurant or even the chandelier so these are some of the examples of the category fixtures then if we move on to the category linen we have a number of different pieces in which we use in the restaurant some of the good examples of the linen category is uh, for example this wool tone this is also known as the base cloth and this should be the uh, first part on the table top and this is uh, usually a thick rug cloth and this has uh, got its own importance this helps in absorbing the liquid if there is any kind of spillage it also helps in absorbing the sound of the crockery or the cutlery and third again which is a very important thing it avoids the guest getting hurt because of these corners which may be there at the table right then another piece of linen we have is the table cloth or the table cover and then we have another piece of linen which is there on the top you can see this maroon cloth this is the napron it is also known as the slip cloth and instead of napron some of the hotels they do use this uh, runners so these runners are the uh, thick rectangular cloths which runs across the table on both the sides and then we do have uh, these cloth napkins this is again a part of the linen so these are some of the examples of the category linen then we have the uh, third category which is the furniture when we talk about the furniture we have the bar counter in the restaurant we have the hostess desk and we have the sideboard also and sideboard we all know that it is uh, one of the very important pieces of furniture or a tool which is used in the restaurant it is also known as a dummy waiter or a service console or a service station apart from this we have the tables and the chairs so we uh, have different types and styles and forms of tables and chairs uh, in the restaurants depending upon the uh, style and size and the decor of the restaurant but the basic thing is that whenever we are using some of the other chairs in the restaurant they should be comfortable enough for the guest and they should be in proper heights now uh, as far as tables are concerned we do have a different uh, shapes and sizes of the tables also it depends on how many guests uh, we want to seat there on the table if we are planning to uh, have a square table for two guests or for two covers we should have a table with 2 and 1/2 feet by 2 and 1/2 feet dimensions and if we are planning to have a round table for two packs then we should have a round table with 3 feet diameter similarly like this very table if we want to have uh, four covers on the table then we must have a table of at least 3 feet by 3 feet dimension so this is how we plan different tables also in the restaurant and we should have a different tables because you know uh, to save on our covers uh, you must be wondering uh, what a cover is i must tell you here that a cover is basically the space on the table in which we can place uh, or lay down the crockery and cutlery for one guest to have his meal and we uh, will discuss about the cover in detail in my next video so now let's start exploring some of the crockery pieces which are used in any of the restaurants and we'll start with this cruet set now technically this thing is known as cruet set these are two separate containers used for salt and pepper and these are also known as uh, the salt and pepper cellar or the salt and pepper container but then the important thing is that these containers are different in terms of the 
number of holes in them so how do we use them or which container contains the salt or which one the pepper we should know this there is no set standard for this because these are used differently in different parts of the world in most of the parts including the USA they contain salt in the container having less number of holes and pepper in the container having more number of holes as little more pepper can be adjusted but then excess amount of salt can ruin the taste of the dish but then if you talk about this certain countries in Europe they do it vice versa they cannot they are not habitual of having a lot of pepper in their food they have the pepper in the container having less number of holes and salt in the container having more number of holes so it depends you know from region to region how they are using it or which container will contain the salt and which container will contain the pepper but most of the places in our country we use the container or the salt pepper sellers the american way that is having salt in the container having less number of holes and pepper in the container having more number of holes now let's move on this you can see a very uh, small piece of crockery or the porcelain this is a toothpick holder and we usually uh, present it to the guest after the meals this is a straw holder we present it to the guest or on to the table whenever we are serving a juice or a soft drink or any other drinks to hold the straws the ashtray having the notches to hold the cigarettes but we can only use this in the restaurant if our restaurant is a smoking one or if we are having a separate smoking zone in the restaurant or the local laws allow smoking in our restaurant otherwise we don't use this we have this uh, plate now this is the quarter plate also known as the side plate or the bnb plate which is the bread and butter plate and sometimes it is also known as the cheese plate but then uh, these days we serve the cheese onto the cheese board or from a cheese platter this is the large plate this is also known as the full plate or the joint plate or the meat plate now we do have uh, two different plates in between these uh, plates in between the quarter plate and the full plate which are the half plate and the fish plate now see i am not going to uh, go in much detail about the dimensions and the quantity of all these things because no the dimensions and uh, the qu quantities are there in the books only but practically things are very different i would not name the hotel but i have seen in a five star deluxe hotel crockery or you can say the full plate and the quarter plate having a triangular shape and in every hotel the size and the dimension or the shapes they may be different so there is no point in discussing uh, in much detail about the dimensions of these plates but then yes in general the quarter plate is of 6 inches diameter the half plate is of 7 and a half inches diameter the fish plate of 8 or 8 and a half inches diameter and the full plate of 10 inches diameter but then most of the hotels are using this plate the 10 inch as the full plate or the dinner plate or the large plate or the meat plate or the joint plate this plate has got so many names but then this 12 inch this is actually the meat plate or the joint plate not this although most of the hotels are using this plate only as a dinner plate this can be used simply as a dinner plate or a large plate but this cannot be used as a meat plate or a joint plate only this plate can be the meat plate or the joint plate this 12 inch one now we have this uh, soup bowl again a piece of crockery used in the restaurant for serving soups now this uh, serving of soup bowl is a little critical in the restaurant because we use this uh, in three different uh, pieces of porcelain or crockery one is this the soup bowl another is uh, we do have a consomme cup having two ears both the sides or you can say having the handles in that uh, particular soup bowl we only serve the consommes and that is also known as the consomme cup we only serve the soup in the soup bowl or in the consomme cup when we are serving the soup pre plated and whenever we are serving a soup in either a soup bowl or in a consomme cup we should always use an underliner 
and whenever we are using an underliner either with a soup bowl or with a breakfast cup or a tea cup or a coffee cup or a demi tasse we always must use a doily paper beneath the like this so as to avoid the slippage and to reduce the noise also and the doily paper also helps in absorbing the liquid if there is any kind of spillage now this was all about the uh, pre-plated soup service pre-plated soup service in the soup bowl and in the conzo makeup but what if we want to serve the soup platter to plate then in which porcelain piece or which uh, bone china piece or in which piece of crockery we are going to serve that so for that we have something called soup plate and this is the plate or soup plate in which the soup can be served in a platter to plate manner again how we do this first we serve this empty soup plate to the guest with an underliner which should be either a half plate or a full plate only not anything less than that we serve this from the right hand side empty and then using a soup tureen we pour the soup in the soup plate from the left hand side so if we are serving the soup pre-plated we should use the soup bowl or the consomme cup but if we are supposed to serve the soup in a platter to plate mode then we should use the soup plate another important thing uh, which is associated with the soup serving is if you are serving the soup say a chinese soup the choice or the selection of the spoon is very important with the soup bowl if you are serving a chinese soup in this bowl you are supposed to use this kind of ceramic or porcelain spoon only do not use any stainless steel or epns or any other metallic spoon for chinese soup we use this ceramic spoon and if we are serving a continental soup or any other international soup in this bowl then we should use this soup spoon any metallic or stainless steel or epns soup spoon can be used with the continental or any international soup but then again if we are using a conzo makeup or simply a soup bowl only for a consomme soup then you should use a dessert spoon with that so these are some basic things which are associated with the serving of soup which bowl you are supposed to use and which spoon you should use while serving a soup you should choose them wisely and this is a sauce boat and this is used to serve the different sauces with the continental food or any other international food we can use this but then uh, whenever we are using this we should always use an underliner with this with a spoon and we have discussed earlier that uh, the service of platter to plate soup in a soup plate and uh, we should serve uh, the platter to plate soup in a soup plate through a soup tureen and soup tureen is very much like this but it is much bigger in size as compared to this sauce boat okay now let's move on this is we mostly use this in uh, the breakfast this is a sachet holder whenever we are serving tea coffee uh, or hot milk or any other thing any other beverage especially hot beverage in the breakfast we use this for keeping the sachets sachets of uh, say castor sugar breakfast sugar or the brown sugar the demerara sugar or maybe the sachet of the sugar free so we use this whenever we are serving serving tea and coffee and this is the uh, another piece of porcelain which we use in the breakfast the egg cup and we use this in the breakfast usually for the boiled eggs we have these uh, two different cups this is the breakfast cup or a tea cup along with the saucer and this is the demitas cup along with the saucer now demitas is a french word which means half cup whenever we are supposed to serve the tea or coffee in the breakfast we use this bigger cup which is also known as a breakfast cup for both tea and coffee we use this one for the breakfast tea and coffee but then if you are supposed to serve the coffee after a meal say after lunch or dinner then we use this demitas for serving that coffee after the meal in small quantity so in breakfast we use this breakfast cup or the tea cup and then 
if you are serving the coffee after the meal then the demitas okay now uh, we have uh, certain platters also these are different platters but then uh, these are of different shapes and sizes this is oval platter this is a rectangle platter and this is again a rectangle one but of different uh, portion size a two portion and a four portion these platters are uh, used to serve different starters and salads even sometime rice preparations in the main course meal now apart from all these things we do have certain bowls here but these bowls are mostly used for chinese food we use them uh, this bigger bowl we use for the uh, rice and the noodles and this for the main course dishes and these are mainly used in the chinese restaurant as the uh, portion bowls but then this bowl is uh, you know again can be used as a soup bowl in many of the uh, cuisines especially the korean and japanese cuisine where we have a lot of you know uh, meat and seafood and vegetables in the soup itself so we use these kind of bowls for japanese soups and this is again something a uh, condiment tray which is associated with the chinese cuisine traditionally but then we can use this uh, in a multi purpose fashion this is a kind of a chinese cruet in this we have uh, these are uh, no uh, separable these are three uh, bowls in these we can uh, serve the uh, chili sauce or the chili vinegar or the soya but then we can use them as uh, you know a condiment tray also for serving different kind of uh, sauces for different cuisines or different food items okay friends this was all about the uh, the section 1 uh, which was about the crockery we have discussed uh, some pieces of crockery which are used in the restaurant and we are going to discuss uh, the section 2 which is the steelware including the flatware cutlery hollowware and uh, we are going to discuss uh, all that in my next video and if you like the content and the information please do like and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon also for future notifications of my videos thank you so much for watching the video